Brother and Brother 2 are those kind of films which you see for the first time in your life and will come back to them eventually once in a while because how memorable they are. It is a story of bravery, conservative values and personal definition of justice. The films themselves are a manually crafted canvas of post-Soviet Russia and characters, story, dialogues and the atmosphere define the life of their citizens. Technically, these two films are called Brat and Brat 2, but I'll refer to them as a Brother and Brother 2 as the Russian version sounds more like an offense in English. Created in 1997, the first Brother was a massive success in Russian cinematography with only 20,000 bucks of a budget. The film was mostly produced and directed by people for free, or for absolutely laughable fee. Directed by a very talented Alexei Balabanov, the film tells the story of a young man Danila who has just finished his service in army and gets back to his hometown, St. Petersburg, to find his brother and start a new life. Eventually, he discovers that his brother deals with some serious bloody business, and that's where a sequence of unforgettable events kicks in. Ну здравствуй, брат. The film captures you from the very first scene and never lets you go until the very final moment. I previously said that Danila travels back to his hometown, St. Petersburg, and that's what really St. Petersburg is in this film. A town. A place, once being a cultural gem of Russia and named after Peter the Great, now turned into mafia hub, stocks of illegal markets, a place where even homeless people fell abandoned. The whole town is muggy, very cruel and cold disaster, and that's where Balabanov hits the most important strings. The imagery in Brother is focused on what Russia became after the Soviet Union, how human life became undervalued, how people changed, what music do they listen, what interests they have, how country suffers from disorienting after USSR collapse, and all of these things are shown through the eyes of a young man who searches for truth and his own definition of righteousness. I watched Brother as a kid and boy I loved it. Of course, the main focus was on Danila and the action scenes, which are actually quite realistic and unnerving even today. Played by Sergei Bodrov, Danila quickly became one of the most iconic characters in Russian cinematography. His character is very sympathetic in both films. He's calm and a bit awkward at times, but when it comes to dealing with what he claims to be evil, he never looks back and never questions himself. Despite the fact that Danila is definitely engaged into crimes and its consequences, the viewer still can relate to him. Amongst all of these people he meets, he seems to be the only one who still searches for something bright and kind. The music in Brother is composed by Vyacheslav Butusov, a lead singer of famous Russian rock band Nautilus Pampilius. And in this film he actually plays himself meeting Danila in one of the scenes. The second film was released four years after the success of the first one, with a much larger budget of 1.5 million dollars. Brother 2 continued story of Danila and his brother. This time around Balabanov decided to focus on other themes. The story brings Danila to the United States, and this film speculates about Russian and American mentalities and also raises several important questions. What are the fundamental moral values of these cultures? How these cultures collide? Or how people can be helping each other? without any rewards asked for. What is the main purpose of it all? Is it money, truth, friendship, or maybe self-sacrifice? The second film took a less grindhouse approach and became more like an adventure thriller, but I kinda enjoy this change in tone. Both films, of course, have some very culture-relatable jokes, which might not be understood by the foreign audience, but they don't appear that much often. Brighton Beach, it's safe to say that Brother and Brother 2 are the films which beautifully reflected life of Russia in the end of 20th century. The charisma of the protagonist stroke people's hearts back at time, and there is something very dear between Russian mind and Danila, something which has probably been lost long time ago, an inner feeling of establishing justice, protecting the weak, and also probably finding your place in this world.